Hey everybody, uh, recently just got a comment. Uh, somebody was asking about uh, how do I set this up? How do I get this working? Um, currently right now, you should be seeing on the screen. I can't really see it right here. It's actually on my third screen over here. Um, should be seeing a side view. Basically, you'll see the green screen behind me. You see me, you see my monitor, and then you actually see a camera over here. Uh, the camera is what's providing the green screen of me. And then the green screen behind me is lit up. Now, another thing that you see over to the side of the camera on my secondary screen over here is this uh, kind of light. This light actually allows uh, the green screen to stay a standard color. Now, the only thing about doing that is I can't have it on one side. It's actually on the opposite side of it, too. It's over on this left. Um, a third light source right now is currently the normal light that's in the room. It's kind of like a yellow tint. So uh, depending on what type of camera you are, you might have a little bit of a tint to you or you might have to adjust it. Um, another thing that you need to be aware of is you want a balanced color on the back end uh, or you'll have to be changing your chroma key. Now I'm going to kind of show you what I see currently because I'm using uh, OBS which is Open Broadcaster Software. Um, I'm going to kind of move it to the screen. You don't see it probably uh, ricocheting me multiple times on the screen. Now this program allows me to run my camera along with allow me to run my uh, screen capture or program or whatever I'm running. In this case I'm doing a screen capture. Um, just kind of show you what I have here is uh, monitor three is my screen capture. So if I disable that, boom, we go black. Um, my main camera, you see me right now. Now you don't. Uh, that's kind of what it does. Uh, basically, I have a capture card in my car, in my computer in this case, because I have a high res camera. Now you can also use a camera over here that is actually broadcasting me from the side view. That can work too. That's this video capture device. Um, kind of just show you what it looks like. Uh, it pops up the display screen like this. I'm going to kind of move this over. Um, Main thing I just want to kind of show you is when Open B uh, OBS, wow, Open BS, ain't that great? Uh, open Broadcaster Software, uh, you can actually change multiple media sources. So I have actually two capture cards: one for the consoles and one for uh, uh, the camera that you see actually at the moment. I went kind of brain dead there. Now, uh, there's currently two ways that you can do this. Uh, currently, right now, I'm using the way of I record myself and I record the game capture at the same time. Now, the other way that you can do is if I disable my screen and I go to my camera right here, since I have a specialized camera that can actually record separately, I can record just myself with the green screen. Don't remove the green screen. Just record myself with the green screen behind me and then merge them together in Adobe Premiere. Um, that's uh, one of the softwares I use. You can use other programs, I believe. Um, can't think of off the top of my work, uh, head, uh, Sony, uh, Sony Vegas Studio, uh, a couple other programs will allow you to do it. Basically, it's called Keying, uh, Chrome or Keying, depending on what the case is. But that's one way to do it. Now, kind of show you what this camera, uh, the camera that's currently showing the side view over here, um, we can add a green screen. So that's what this chroma key is. If I click here, boom, I just chromed myself out because my chroma is currently set to white. Pfft, everything looks weird and freaky. Now, if I go over here and select the green, there you go, my green starts moving. Now, the only thing about this is that I have it on a side camera, so the coloring might be a little bit different, and I can't change much of the coloring. Now, with uh, certain cameras that you have, uh, like this one, I can actually change the white balance. Uh, if I go configure here, currently uh, brightness is auto-controlled. I see his white balance is on the screen. Yes, it is. Boop. If I disable the auto, I can actually change the white balance. I can change it to like a gray or a black or a really green color. So if I go really green real quick, right now nothing's being uh, changed. So if I go and select this area, we're going to change up the blend to 120. Uh, currently, the blend is 120. So on my screen, you might see a little bit of green appear because it's actually picking up my monitor here and it's going to be changing the color. I'm trying to hide the audio right now because I have some audio going in the background. And that's another reason why this is disabled. You kind of have a little grayed out box. Um, we can change the similarity. Uh, currently, we're at zero. Let's go 15 real quick. And as you see, the green screen starts expanding even more on what it's using. Uh, I think 55, nope, let's go 85, okay, we're going to go 85 at the moment, uh, and I click OK, boom, now we have a green screen, now my back end over here is actually green, now, in OBS, I can actually scale and change the size, so I can actually make this smaller, or I can make this really, really big, so you don't even have to worry about it, boom, now you can't see me, uh, that leads down to layers, so you can change some settings, uh, let me shrink this down real quick, so as you saw, there was different, uh, you can't see me anymore, that's because my camera main over here in this bottom corner is actually what I am in this case, and I'm below that layer. I can actually move that layer up by going to order and move up. Now if I scale this screen right here, boom. You can still see me and still see a little bit of background because of the green screen. Now you notice down here uh, in the bottom right corner of my screen, 
you're going to see this kind of like this black tint uh, kind of fading. And as I move my arms up, it adds more fade. That's because my lighting is only coming from one direction, not from the side, to balance out the color for this camera. It's only supposed to balance out the front camera. Now, depending on how far I go back and how far I go forward and you have autofocus on, it can cause other issues. Yeah, that's it's great, right? Yeah, a lot of fun little things. But um, as you can see here, there we go. I scaled myself. Now, uh, you can go to Adobe Premiere and do uh, secondary uh, editing to do this chroma key, or you can open up two OBSs. Now, if you don't do OBS and two multi, uh, for the run program, you have to actually change some settings here. Let's see if I have the property box. Oh, there we go. So I have the property box open here. Um, let's try to get it in the green screen. Yeah, there we go. It, it's really small. Um, basically, you see uh, the target for the shortcut. Um, it run, it goes directly to where OBS is installed. In this case, I'm running 64-bit OBS, so it's in program files on a 64-bit computer. Um, add dash multi. Dash multi allows me to open up multi of these sessions by right-clicking and telling it to open up OBS in my shortcut. So if I right-click and tell it to open up another OBS, I have another OBS. Boom. Um, let me just shrink the screen down here. So uh, only other thing that can come into play is that I have my main screen set to um, I have it set to a uh, global device, so I can't really use the device twice in two different sessions. Kind of just kind of show you here. Um, let's disable this. Let's try to do a preview stream. I don't need to dual screen it or anything. See, my camera's going to come up red in this case on this screen, mainly because I'm already in use. So if I go here and I can go to my console, boom, you'll see my console screen. I actually have two capture cards. Like I said, I have a console over here, and I have my main capture card for the screen that you see here. Uh, if I keep on rolling down, I can't do my screen window, but I can do screen three because the screen doesn't affect anything. The screen's not a capture device. It doesn't only allow one output at a time. Um, but I can re-enable that camera and just say if I say if I wanted to record separately uh, two different things, move this up, boom. So if you count the right OBS that I have open as just my camera capture, and then you count the left OBS I have as my screen capture, after I get done, I can actually edit this screen right over here and set... Uh, basically edit my screen on my left over here and then basically move myself over here do the green screening and I can shrink myself expand myself in Premiere um, if I have a file open I'm gonna actually try to show you that here real quick uh, it might take a few seconds um, since OBS does take a little while uh, to actually do things for me um, let's try this here I don't have the fastest of drive so this isn't always the quickest and I might have to do editing even more <laughs> And that's shrink myself down because I just want to kind of show you how OBS works and how you can do the screen capture. Um, in my whole setup, uh, the green screen behind me, uh, last time I checked, was like 35 bucks. Uh, the two lights I have up here in total cost me 100 um, give or take, depending on what brand you get or who you want to order it for. Um, we'll see if my tutorials opens up quickly here. I don't know if it will. Uh, Depending on how many files I have in Premiere, give or take, it might take a long time, it might take a short time. Uh, and I think those that were recorded uh, together, so currently all my media loaded. So I actually have a screen over here that's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I caught myself at perfect timing. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't look like I do. So let's uh, drag some files in here real quick. Um, try to move some files at the same time. So let's get this drive going. We're going to go live recordings. Um, so camera recordings, and I'm just going to grab something random here, um, because these are actually separated by themselves, and supposedly I did some recordings, I set them into GMT, don't ask me why, uh, I don't even know how long these files are, 39 seconds, 36 seconds, okay, we're done, try this. So I'm going to import a file here. It's uh, actually just has a green screen. It's me by myself doing something stupid. Uh, I did it editing randomly. So I have a green screen. I have myself. Boom. Now, let's say if I want to add it into a video, uh, we're going to actually move this scene over here because I actually have two screens for this. And drag this right into this bar. There we go. So basically now, right now, you're seeing my video, just the feed of that video. And then on the right side over here, you're actually seeing uh, what the final output will be. So currently in this video, I was actually just kind of showing you how to do change remote desktop, uh, this, uh, remote desktop port, because how to set up remote desktop, how to get it through the firewall a little bit. So we're going to move this file right down here. Boom. 
Okay, I'm on the screen. Now, the issue with this uh, video that I have right here is I have this black shadow. That requires a lot more editing, I guess, in this case, or chroma keying. Um, one of the main things, we need to find chroma. Uh, I believe it's called chroma in this one. There we go. Doop. I'm done. Drag it onto that file. So what I just did is I added chroma to this file, but it didn't do anything. That's because it hasn't been applied. If I move my effects control over here. So my color is set to white. Let's change it. Boom. Okay, we changed it to green. Now, the issue is that I don't have anything that is... There we go. That's how I blend. Yeah. But I don't have anything that is a solid color or the same color throughout. And that can occur with a bad green screen. You don't always have to have a green. You can do a blue. Uh, any color that is not dominant that you're going to see like this. So if I went blue right now, I could probably be glowing right through my chest. <laughs> um it's not always that fun. Instead, I get blur marks because my uh, shirt has lines on it and I have my screen shrinked. Um, so let's go down to 50. So 50, as you can tell, I'm still a little bit transparent. Uh, blending does a lot. And depending on what program you use, blending changes or differs. So some similarity. Uh, let's go 50. Boom. Too high. So let's go 10 real quick. Okay, it's doing pretty good, but I still have the kind of colors around me. I can try to go higher. Boom. Okay, so I went a little bit higher, and as you can tell, I got out most of the green screen on that. Um, we go 20. We're doing pretty good. But you don't want to tempt fate, because sooner or later, I will start going, I'm solid and see through. I'm a ghost. And you can make yourself into a ghost if you really like to. But uh, see, so I start losing some of my shirt there. Now, the other issue is I'm only going off a of still frame. This actually video has its own playthrough. So if I click play here real quick, Now I have audio playing in the background that you can't really hear. You just see me walk off. Now, question is, as you see me walk off, did I see any green? So we can go into slow-mo. Oop, I went a little bit fast. So as you can see, that, that green shadow I never removed. So that would mean I either have to do another chroma key or I have to do some little special editing. And I'm not gonna go into that detail. I just kinda wanna show you how to do this. Now. In this case, what I'm just showing you is I'm doing two feeds. I recorded a screen, and then I recorded my actual self in a separate screen. And then I merged them together in my editing program. And anybody can do it either way. OBS is very great at, uh, very good at doing it in uh, all at once for you. But in case you find out that, oh, I'm covering something, you might want to move yourself to somewhere else. Uh, it's easier to do after, but it just takes a little bit longer. Um, in this case, I'm using a 1080p camera that runs at 60 frames per second. If I do that type of editing on this machine that I currently have, it bogs down the encoding and just takes longer. But if I uh, do it all together, it compresses pretty well with OBS. Um, it's just a nice thing that OBS does. Um, about an hour file equals uh, one, I think it was, it was like 900 meg, so almost a gig. Um, maybe two gigs, depending on how you do your encoding. I'm doing 60 frames per second, so it differs. Uh, also, if you're doing 60 frames per second, you might want to do this camera over here on the side at 60 frames per second. This camera on the side, though, I did a little special trick to it. Um, the special trick is... Whoosh, okay. Uh, the special trick is uh, my camera. this camera that you have that's pointing at me right now doesn't support 1080 or doesn't support 1080 at 1080 frames per second. Or wow, at, 1080, at a screen resolution of 1080, it doesn't support 60 frames, and I'm totally muttering. So, in this case, uh, this camera has a little trick to it. I lowered the resolution to 640 by 360 and 460 frames per second, and that fixes it up. Uh, if you don't try to force it or if your camera doesn't support it, you might see a little bit lagging or sluggishness. Um, it's just caused by you're recording at 60, you're only giving 30, and now it has to kind of put it together, and it just doesn't always come out good. <laughs> Secondly, if you're using a USB, uh, if you have too many USBs being used at once on the hub, uh, it can also cause bog down or slowness or uh, sluggish and frames might drop or you just might be stuttering over uh, different areas as you're talking and moving. But um, hopefully this is helpful for you guys, um, for anybody that's asking. Uh, the person that asked this, I am not remembering the name off the top of my head here, and I'm going to actually say thank you for requesting. Um might take me a few seconds here because I have to go and navigate through everything, as you can see on this far screen over here that I'm doing. <laughs> um, and if I click the right buttons, I would find this even quicker, but I'm not. Um, I would like to thank, uh, uh, I'm going to say Leonard, Daniel. 
uh, for requesting or wondering how I'm doing this. Uh, this is how I do it. Hopefully this is helpful for you or anybody that wants to know how to do this. Um, kind of a little bit long, 15 minutes, I believe, has gone past or so. And uh, still has the ending outro, I guess, in this case, that's still needing to be added. Uh, and the intro that needs to be added. I haven't done anything stupid yet, but and it's one of those videos. I'm just trying to show you what, how you can do this, and hopefully this helps. And just so you know, this audio is off because you don't need to hear my background audio. Um, nobody's talking right now, so I don't think you're going to hear anything. At, that's after I click here. Yeah, so my background audio came back on. And as yeah, you heard, there's a shit ton of berries right there. And I was playing a game at the time before I did this because I can't get into the game. I gave up. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody, and hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a comment or uh, like below. Um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel, click subscribe. And if you would like to watch another video, there's some videos listed down below here. And thanks for watching.